When working with interiors, a common workflow is to take a cube, extrude it out into your shape, and invert the normals, creating a uh, inside-out box, for lack of a better term. So with Unity's new lighting system, that leaves some artifacts when you're using real-time lighting. There are a couple ways to address that, um, one of which is just to use baked lighting, which does a much better job of dealing with these seams. Uh, but you can also adjust the bias and normal bias of your light sources. So in this example, it cleans up pretty well. Uh, that's not always the case. And you may have reasons for wanting to keep your bias and normal bias where they are. So in response to that, we've added a new method in ProBuilder to address that, which is the generate shadow object action up here. So what that does is creates an inside out volume around your geometry with the sole purpose of casting shadows. So if I open up the options here, you can see we've got volume size, uh, what the shadow casting mode is by default, uh, normally that would be shadows only, and how it extrudes out. So as you see, I as I change the options, the bounds update, so I can make this larger and smaller. And if I turn on two-sided here, you can see what's going on. Just creating a new object down here, child of the cube, that is extruded out, and by default, only cast shadows. So down here, I've got the set to shadows only. There's no collider. It just exists. And you can play around with these settings if one works better for you. I find that vertex normal seems to do the job pretty well. And somewhere around 0 0.06, 0 0.10, somewhere in that range, give pretty good results. Yep. So if you have any questions about how that works, uh, feel free to drop by the forums. We'll be happy to help.